Nah, me too, but I, I, I don't forget faces, though. I forget names. <laughs> you know who, you know what. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا لولا أن هدانا ربنا بالحق نعم I'm um, just here at Masjid 5200 block of Gray's Avenue. And we're making a recap. And I'll make it as brief as possible while mentioning the main points. Nah. Was covering was like they moon That the issues are, are two issues that may seem apart, and they have no connection to one another. Totally cut off one another. By the time I finish this talk, and they are related and connected. Hikmat khalq al-insan. Hikmat khalq al-insan. Bahanik al-man. Wa yatar. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ifala rabbuka lil-malaikati inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. And when you look to the angels, I am going to be a Khalifa on earth. The Place even placed in Jannah. 
temporary enjoyment. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam, or he said he was going to Khalifa. So he described this man that he's going to and all of the translations to this word Khalifa points to something that is a preserver, a protector, a rectifier, a sustainer, and everything that kind of that's what a Khalifa does. However, if not seen many bearing that adjective, that description as being a Khalifa. As most of mankind, the complete opposite of being a rectifier, and protector, and sustainer. Well, we see the complete opposite. Ta'ala made clear what we're supposed to be doing. However, the jinn in the, the text and we will not get into the detail of the text here, but the, I mean, sorry, the Malaika said on hearing that أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا That's, are you going to be there? There's a going to be the opposite of the meaning of Khalifa. This is the opposite of what a Khalifa is. Al Khalifa, yes, I'll hook in the Dima. Prevent bloodshed. So, this is not the behavior of a Khalifa. North Carolina, Texas, Memphis, Tennessee, all over the place. I will receive obituaries almost weekly or more than, more than. Yeah. And the reason I mentioned Philadelphia is because this is the place. And because of the large number of Muslims in Philadelphia, I'm receiving. who was also killed by a Muslim. In and I never imagined reading the hadith about the signs of the hour. The Prophet ﷺ explained when the hour was approaching, وَيَكْفُرُ الْحَرَجِ that and then the Haraj is going to increase Ethiopian word. Habat, wamal Haraj, wamal Haraj, bilat with a ha, not with a ha. Haraj with a ha is embarrassment. And he said, "Why?" And it's an Ethiopian word. The Prophet said, "Why yaktul al Haraj?" He said, "Wamal." And what is Haraj? Because it wasn't Arabic, it's Ethiopian. He said, killing, killing. He said to the killer, the murderer, won't know why he murdered. And the one who was murdered won't know why he was murdered. And you see all of the sayings in the lingo now. The brothers were telling me about some lingo that reached Philadelphia from Chicago. You say, adoring someone means where a very close or maybe the closest person to you sets you up when he leaves your door open, when he knows you're going off the rest in order for your. So now think about the hadith and think about this new of backdooring. It's a culture now. To set it 
Christmas because they didn't even expect it. Children killing their parents. Husbands killing their wives. Wives killing their husbands. I read an article in the paper about a young man who was, who was arrested for a triple homicide. Killed three people. He said, because I can't fight. Shot three people, killed them. So this is what now has become the norm. al Haraj. And indeed, we We walk, look at everything else, walks on fours, and even if you walk on twos, they have to hop. It's a struggle for them to be on two. They don't walk on twos upright like we do. Even their walking on two feet is not. Crawl on their bellies. Could you imagine me and make the crawl? Crawl on your belly. This is how you get on. Walking on fours, on twos, on threes, crawling on their belly. Walk upright. The best in the way our minds work, intellect. Allah. He gave us intellects that have understanding. And he gave us hearts that what comprehend. These favors that Allah has given us, these devices, if you want to call it that, are supposed most of what makes us different. But, as was mentioned in the khutbah, animals don't rape. Animals kind of sleep with a cub, male or female. How is it that animals that rely on instinct that don't have They don't have gangs that attack for nothing. Animals kill for a reason. They, they kill, they hunt, they kill for food. They don't care. We kill for sport. And the thing is, it used to be animals, but we don't just kill animals for sport. We kill other human beings for sport. We're so inhuman, we're human, and we're the most inhumane creature. kill humans. So where's the humanity? We're inhumane. We have more laws protecting dolphins and white lions than protecting human life. We have more laws worrying about the bald eagle becoming extinct than the human race. There are no homosexual animals, lesbian animals. They know animals with drug addictions. Intellect. We take the animals, they look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Sheikh Abdul Rahman al-Sa'adi was explaining in Surah Al-Fatiha. And being guided to the straight way, it means tarbiyat, tarbiyat subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-am wal khas. He said, it's the nurturing, nurturing of Allah. It covers the Muslim, the kafir, the plants, the animals, the insects, everything. It is the nurturing where Allah ta'ala has instilled in each inclination to that which gives it life and causes it to survive. This is why without education or studying, they go to it, they say, oh no, by the smell of that, by the taste of that, that's going to hurt me. They don't eat it. That they know it is dangerous to them. So this is the general tarbiyah.
nurturing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you have the specific tarbiyah when Allah he hears the words of Iman and Tawheed, he realizes that is his fitrah and he accepts it and follows it. But some human beings are they don't even follow the natural fitrah by which they preserve their own life. They do things in which that could kill them for no benefit. And they kill other, other things for no benefit. No purpose at all. Al-Abath. Just pointless uselessness. Subhanahu wa ta'ala created man for a specific purpose. But man has won so far away from his purpose that we have abandoned the very instincts. Human. Allah Ta'ala said in Surah Al-A'raf, وَلَقَدَ ضَرَأْنَا لِجَهَنَّمْ It's as if we made it for the hellfire. They have hearts with which they have no understanding. They don't see. And they have ears with which they don't hear. Whether they're further astray. He said, These are the ones who are here. Heedless. Heedless. How can a human being, human beings, intentionally and purposely destroy other humans? What we've become. Allah said, Thumma radanahu asfil asafili. Rudda, then he was debased. Ila asfal. Asfal, this is superlative. The lowest. It means the lowest. Asfal asafilin. The lowest of the lowly. Because we left off our human. And then blameworthy upon an animal for being inhumane. It's an animal. But when a human does things that an animal wouldn't even do, it's even a... a, a don't do that. A guy comes in and kills like dog. Other than law, everybody like this. That guy's an animal. No, he's not an animal. That. Boy Scout troop, uh, troop leader for three decades he's been raping all the little boys like that he's an animal no he's not an animal you're gonna you know find where a lion was raping cubs for decades humans only was doing stuff like this but what do you call human how where's the humanity it's the very instinct of every creation to first and foremost put those that are like it. Wolves in packs. The lions have a certain type. The Libra, cats, uh, the zebras, I mean, have a group. Everybody have a group in which they protect themselves and protect their own. Humans, no. So where is the... Where are the people who... Uh, 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 establish justice, establish justice, establish being upright, establish protection, establish sustenance in, in the earth. Where are these individuals? How could it be erased from our ummah? How could it be erased from our ummah? Longest so in the Quran, 286 verses. Right in the middle, 143. What did Allah Ta'ala say? Well, what kadalika ja'al? Allah said what? And we made So that you can be a witness over, a witness over the people Philadelphia Muslims everywhere It's hard to go around in Philly without seeing a Muslim 
When they see the Muslims, do they see Islam? I remember Sheikh Abdullah, the son of Sheikh Muhammad Alami said, the world can't if it wasn't for us people would wear the representatives or the misrepresentatives. We made you the middle nation so that you could be this over the the Anbiya, Hud, Saleh, Shu'ayb, Lut, Nuh, they're going to say, yeah, we delivered the message. Allah's going to ask their people, did these prophets deliver the message? Their people are going to lie. People are going to lie and say they didn't deliver the message. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask those Anbiya, what is your proof that you delivered the message? You know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said? He, uh, that, that the NBA was... They're my proof. Because we're the only ummah that believe in all the prophets and 